Hey y'all. So today we're gonna make chicken biscuit sandwiches. I'm gonna show you how to make every component from the biscuit to the chicken and how I make the bacon, egg, and cheese as well. So let's just get started. So first we're gonna sift our flour, baking powder, and salt into a bowl. I like to use metal everything because this is all gonna go in the freezer later. And then we're gonna dice our butter and our shortening into chunks that are uniform in size and add those as well. After we put everything, including our utensils, into the freezer, we're just gonna separate out a little salted butter because we're gonna melt that later. And while that chills, go ahead and prep your chicken by slicing it really thin, seasoning it really simply, and then soaking it in buttermilk. It's gonna soak until our biscuits are ready to go into the oven. So I didn't wanna cut anything out of the biscuit making process. Um, this was a because I really like watching people make biscuits and I figured maybe somebody else likes watching it too and also because the process is the most important part so I wanted you guys to see everything that I do um, first I cut the butter into kind of pea sized amounts with the pastry cutter after it's about pea sized is when I make a well in the center and I pour in my buttermilk and then I combine everything super gently um, you'll notice that I do not stir I cover the buttermilk up with the flour, I slice through it, I turn the, you know, turn it on top of itself, I do all kinds of things, but I don't stir it. And this is because stirring is the easiest way for you to overwork your dough, and that's just going to make tough biscuits. Um, but after it's combined enough where it kind of just generally sticks together, you want to turn it out onto a floured surface and kind of mold it into a discernible shape so we can start rolling it out and making our layers. So putting layers in your biscuits is really simple and straightforward. It's just a matter of layering your dough by folding it over on top of itself. That's what creates those flaky layers in your biscuit. My preferred way is the traditional way where you just roll it out till it's big enough slide something underneath half of it and tip that half over onto the other half and then continue to roll. Another way to do it that some people may find easier is to cut the dough instead. So once you have it rolled out into like your rectangle or whatnot, instead of folding it over onto itself, cut it down the middle and then lay one half over the other half or cut it in thirds and stack those sections on top of each other. Then just roll it out and do that as many times as you see fit. Not twisting the cutter is the most important thing here. If you're gonna use a glass, that's fine. Just don't twist the cutter. It's gonna seal up the sides and make all the work you did for layers useless. And speaking of layers, you can actually see them in the dough that we're removing from the sides of the biscuits. You can see all those layers we did. Well, I can see them at least. And we were so gentle with the outside of the biscuits because we're going to repurpose it. It's way too much dough to go to waste. So make as many biscuits as you can or enough to fill up your pan at least. I usually make a couple for my dog as well. You're going to brush them with butter, the salted butter that we melted earlier. Pop them in the oven at 475 until golden about 15 minutes. And now for our chicken fry, we're gonna put two parts flour to one part cornstarch and season it liberally to taste. Um, keep in mind that you need to do it liberally. Every piece of seasoning is not gonna hit your chicken, so be generous. Um, then you wanna sprinkle in some buttermilk to create extra texture on the outside of your chicken and toss it and then let it rest while the oil preheats. I don't want to hear anything about my frying pan. Okay, I love this pan. I know how raggedy he is, but I'm going to keep him until his handle falls all the way off. Okay, I don't know why I love it so much. It just, I know it. Now we're going to fry some bacon and an egg. I really don't want to talk about this egg, but I feel like I owe an explanation. I was extremely high 
when I was making this and for some reason it just did not compute that if you pour a scrambled egg into a biscuit cutter it's not going to stay the same size as the biscuit cutter it's going to puff out every other time I've done it I've just cracked the egg into the biscuit cutter but today I just look at the biscuits guys look at the biscuits So here we have it, chicken biscuit sandwiches or sandwiches. I don't know why I like to say sandwiches, but I do. Um, these are versatile, obviously. You can top them with whatever you want. If they were for me, I'd be using beef bacon, not pork, and no cheese. So do what you like. I appreciate you watching, as always. Have a good one.